Mac. I'm Nexus, and this is Factorio. Uh, we're pretty much where we left off. We did build a little bit more stuff. We got some pipes going. Nexus, we got some ammo going. Land pass, spider, attack. I did? Yeah. Oh, he's attacking my wood again. Welcome back, guys. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, yeah, we're uh, being attacked by biters a little bit. And uh, got some stuff going that we did off camera, but for uh, obvious reasons. Uh, yeah, next person. Hello, folks. It's Cag. You know, your your Cag, average guy. Um, so yeah, we're we're I'm working on some uh, defenses for this episode because we sorely need it. Uh, I'm not sure if Eddie ended up helping me or not. Are you gonna help me, Eddie? Uh, I thought we were working towards the west. I thought we would start in the west first. Okay. Oh well. I didn't realize um, you already started down here. I mean, um, I'm... <laughs> yeah, it, it doesn't matter at this point because those bases are all covered. Yeah, I f figured might as well start somewhere, and this was the easiest place to get ammo production down to. No, oh, hey, whatever well, is whatever thinking. works. Okay. Yeah. Well, this was this was my idea. <laughs> you can start somewhere else, Letty. This guy. Is... Yep. Pretty much. Yeah. But yeah, Eddie, you, uh, you want to say hello? Uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> welcome back, guys. It's um, Eddie Man Plays here, and um, welcome to another exciting episode of Triple Threat. Um, chill pill. Chill pill. <laughs> We're <laughs> just going to start with the base defense, and we actually have some biter push pushing back that we need to address um, this episode mm. as well, too. So we're not spacing oh. out the turrets. We're gonna just put them next to each other. I you would. They have a. Not. They have a range in which they are will are capable of shooting, um, within each other's range. I wouldn't put them so close together. I would spread them out. Well, it's just good nuts. <laughs> you guys don't want to do that. <laughs> what? Just, you know, go nuts with the turrets. Oh um, like no. I usually, uh, no, because I usually we don't leave... have, we're, not, we're not making that much ammo. <laughs> yeah. I usually leave a space because I go back and place laser also, turrets. Also, later also on. keep in mind that with the big bags mod on, you're gonna when you go to place uh, your ammo in a turret, it's gonna place. You know, if you try to do half, if you have a thousand, it's gonna place a thousand, or it's gonna place five hundred and then one turret because it's not gonna stop at fifty. Yeah. Uh, that, so you're going to have to go cool. through all of those turrets lined up next to each other and make sure that they all have even ammo. If you want to do that, knock well, yourself if out. You, if you do, if, <laughs> even if, ammo? If you do the inserters it, like he's doing, then it should. Are you going to do like... Uh, the inserter is going to put... Like, I don't know what you guys do, but like in the beginning stages of a game, if I, you know, because I don't we'll have laser turrets, I will put, you know, a turret within... And I'll put one down, and I'll five or six spaces to the right or left and place another one, because technically the big circle is still within range of the other turret that you just placed, so they'll cover each other from that distance. And then cool. put a belt behind, uh, two spaces behind them with inserters behind them and run it on the inside of the base one way and have the output of the, uh, you know, the ammo be put out, and it'll just run around the base on the turret all day, and the inserters will pick it up and put it in the turrets manually. It's a, It's work. But it works. Yeah, that's like this, basically. I um, have to come up and see what you're doing. Just use the map. Yeah, or, or use the map. But fine, I've, I've, uh, except for the distance, I think it's the same idea. Yeah, exactly the same idea, except that, yeah, if you look, if you, when you select, when you hover over a turret, you see the ground turn green in a big circle. Yeah, yeah. So all of these turrets are within range of this one turret. Yeah. Which it's gives, wasteful, in my opinion. It, it gives redundancy and, and safety and a good feeling inside. <laughs> it's a waste of resources, in my opinion. But the, the turrets stop feeding themselves at 10, 10 magazines. They do that here, too. I check that. I know, but it's it, the, the amount of turrets that you have to create to make a perimeter around the base is, way, is in my opinion, way too many. And a waste of resources. But you do what you want to do. That's why I'm up here and you guys are down there. <laughs> Alright, Eddie, what do you think? Um maybe maybe we skip two instead of just instead one. Instead of one? Alright. 
start from the splitter there. Yeah, so. I, I'm gonna grab uh, grab turrets again, and then I'll I'll. I you, I placed all my turrets Ooh. down, so. Yeah, me too. But I'll, I know I, at I'll, least the belt could be. Stretched. You got out. nanobots, buds. Uh, robot, robots. I mean, there you go. Uh, dang it, <laughs> the belt disappears too. <laughs> yep. It's okay. I keep forgetting I have the bots. Yeah. It doesn't click. Bigger. It doesn't click in my mind until I actually like make them. Uh, let's see where the belt up here is gonna go. All right. So we decided we're gonna skip two. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm taking the turrets up. Okay. You have more turrets, or? No, I have three on me, but I didn't pick any more up. All right. I have a uh, bunch I of belts. Them. I have a bunch of belts, so I'm just gonna run the belts. All right. You have power poles? Yeah, you, you had yeah. a lot of power poles, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I am wasting no time with the biters with turrets. I'm just going to go down through the shotgun and wipe out their base like that. <laughs> Did you take out the base? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, with a, with, you made a shotgun. With a shotgun. <laughs> I I don't know. I... I'm saying, like, like the right now, with the whole building the perimeter thing down there, we're just wasting resources. Why? Because those biters are not going to stop, keep coming until we wipe those bases out because the pollution is covering their entire habitat. They have to be taken out. Otherwise, we're just wasting materials to make all that ammo and just keep pumping it into the biters who are just going to keep coming. But it's it's, it's a very nice sight to see the biters run to, to their own demise. You know? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> is uh i i i don't know i'm kind of on the fence i don't want to constantly have to fight biters i'm just going to go take out their bases i kind of almost rather put the resources into advancing the base but i mean i it's good to have the security also it is but again the, the the pollution is covering their bases. They're not going to stop coming, which means we're just pump. We're just wasting resources pumping them into biters who are just going to keep spawning until the bases have been wiped out. So every minute that we just keep pumping ammo into them, we're just wasting more resources because we're not dealing with the problem. We're we're fighting the symptom, not the source. True. Sure, but biters will always keep coming though. No, you they won't. Spend a lot. Yeah, they will. No, the, it's disabled yeah, for them to keep for them to expand, bro. Yeah, but it will. There will still definitely be more more bases within catchment range. Once we and when not until not when we get to solar power, there won't. But when how we get far? To, when we get to green well, energy, the pollution will dissipate. But how far off is that? Uh, well, it depends on how fast we get the stuff researched. How many turrets do you have? And, and whether or not, Shoot. and whether oh, or not we get wiped out by the biters who are, who are going to increasingly send bigger and bigger and bigger patrols at those turrets. Yeah, and the turrets usually keep the biters away. That's my experience, anyways. They a do. Tur a turret the day keeps the biters away. They do. The doctor says. Uh, <laughs> oh, we that, slow. But right, now, but right now, what's happening is we slow you're down. Not, you're, 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 you're not slowing them down. You're wasting ever. You're wasting the resources we're pumping out of the ground to fight them instead of taking out the bases and dealing with the problem. And we slow you're just, down. You're, when you're, we're... You're, you're fighting the you're fighting the symptom, not the cause. Yeah. We slow down when we run on their blood. That's cool. That's a new. They should oh, add yeah, that when you when you kill them they in should, that spot. Yep. They should add that this to is... vanilla. This is a cool feature for the for the. Uh, this is cool discussion for the chat as well. What chat thinks this. Uh, Comment section, not chat, because it's not live stream. What do you guys think? Leave it down below. On either one of our channels. <laughs> yeah. Because uh -uh. we're always paying attention to those comments. 
I mean, I'm we like have notified by mobile device. <laughs> we have all these <laughs> turrets here now. We might as well just get them set up and utilize them. But then, when, when the base when the base grows, then we'll have to we'll cross those. Uh, we'll get to that moment in time when it happens. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. And I'm stealing kegs. Turrets. When you're, you you messed up the order of them. I did. Oh. Okay. Well, I'll do it again. <laughs> so we're not mining stone yet, right? Maybe I should go set up. Uh, no. Some stone production. That I will do. I will set up some stone production. Did we lose Nexus? No, no. I'm still here. Oh, okay. <laughs> just making I'm sure. I'm just. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go deal with the biters before the. Yeah, I'm just gonna go deal with the biters so that they're not an issue. I'm not gonna waste time on. I'm not gonna waste time with setting up a thousand turrets. The fight must go on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so this is where the... Is this temporary or should we move this? Yeah, that's, that's that stone thing. Yeah, it's just temporary. Okay. I was I asked you that before when my mic was off and nobody answered. Oh. Me. <laughs> yeah, it's just temporary until we get an actual smelter one set up. Um. Just because right away in the game you need stuff that requires stone. Now, do you you do you guys normally do a full column of of stone smelting? I usually only do half. Uh, I do like I do twelve smelters instead of uh, twenty four. Yeah. Okay. That's what I was thinking. Okay. So I will set. I mean, I do twelve. I mean, I do twelve on each side instead of twenty four on each side. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I because think. it's not I'll used do. a whole lot. But you might want to make a full column in this because as I'm thinking about it, uh, railroad tracks and stuff like that don't just require stone; they require creosote and all kinds of weird cr and treated wood and all kinds of weird shit to make. Really? Ugh, yeah. they, had, they had to make that complicated? Yeah. What did <sighs> they not make complicated? Right. Okay. So I will do a full line of smelting for stone bricks then. And I'll put it right here above the copper. Where should I put it? Yeah, I'll put it above the copper here. Or should I have it going... No, put it there. Okay. Gotta get more belts. So belts stack at a thousand now? That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. That is amazing. <laughs> What is this going to turn into? Iron plates. Okay. Alright, yep, sorry guys. Now I'm trying to be real quiet. I'm just building. Alright, so this is going to turn into iron plates. This iron oxide comes out of the machine with the coke over here. I'm going to place this other sinkhole uh, in I'm going to move this out of the way in place. And then I'm going to place um, a couple of ground to, pipe to grounds. Now, we won't have to worry about the tar until we actually start needing to use be using the tar. We won't have to replace those, um, those vents anymore. It'll just be an endless pit, and this will not pr stop producing coal 
our coke until we tell it to stop or until the line backs up, which is perfect. Okay. Uh, that yeah, that's well, that was for the viewers, but yeah, for you too. Um, so yeah, this thing I have put the splitter on here to uh, separate the iron oxide out of the coke line and bring it over here to these smelters. And basically, what's going to happen is oh crap, I did this wrong. That's what's going to happen. Pick those up for me real quick, bots. So this can be there's something attacking us. Uh, it's attacking the, the radar. That's by you. Uh... I got it. Get out of here. Little beachings. All right. I need some more stuff so I can go deal with the biters. All right, so this is going to separate out and come over here. And then it'll be picked up by these smelters. Uh, there's not a whole lot of them because the iron oxide isn't a big issue. Uh, coming out of the coke plant. It's, you know, every few pieces of coke, there's a piece of iron oxide. So this will just run a belt back this way. Oops. Right? Yeah. I'll run a belt back this way. Looks odd, I'm sure. That's okay. It'll be fine. <clears throat> All right. Check this out. And I did this so that we could get the pl so we could get the power poles in in here. But oh well, it's not gonna work that way. Oh, I gotta do it the other belt. Okay. So it's. Is it this one? Yeah. Like that. Okay, right? Uh, I've set this up twice, and so now I can't even seem to figure out how to set it up again. <laughs> Don't you love that? I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... How did I do this the last time? Ah, like this. Okay, there we go. Is that going to work? Yeah, okay. There we go. It was because I had to set it up an odd way. Okay, so this will allow me to get power poles in here to power these things. Awesome. Now, what I need is, uh, where's the, uh, I some coal, guys. Where's the coal? Oh, the coal's up here. Okay. So I need a splitter. Shabam. Right? No? Yeah. Take it from here. I'm gonna run it down this way. We're, like, very focused on what we're doing. <laughs> down here and this will run into there it's not the greatest but hey it works hey, we haven't um, automated uh, inserters yet right no no okay and that will help that out and then this will output it onto this belt, and we can run this belt back the other way. There we go. Back this way again. Um, We're going to have to put some uh, undergrounds. Oh, no, that ain't going to work. Um, oh, well, we guess we can do it this way. Okay. I'm going to have to move this real quick, guys. Sorry. Okay. I like these fully compressed belts down here of iron and copper. Huh. Nice. Alright. So basically, this will do this. Okay. And then like that. It's a little spaghetti, but it's okay. I like spaghetti. Spaghetti is nice every now and again. Yeah. Sometimes it's unavoidable. Why Especially when you don't want to have to rip up everything and relay it down. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, I'm not going to rip it up and relay it down. 
<laughs> it's just gonna be that's just what it is, folks. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. You put the stacked uh, iron plates to steel. What? The stacked iron plates went to steel. You cut. You split it off after you stacked them. So now we have Which to I'm fix up. this right here. Gotta fix all this. Oh. Hmm. Oh like, yeah, they didn't I went to go the... get some steel. And I'm like, wait, what's going on? Oh yeah, because they won't. Um, they won't. Un the things won't unstack it. All right. Well, can we, so can we just put these stacks in here then? No. No, wait. you can't put that there. What? Me? Oh, okay, crap. Hang on. No, you. <laughs> yeah, you can't put those in there. You put them in the wrong spot, buddy. Because now the plates are going down the down the lane with the stacks. Oh, oh, oh! Shoot. <laughs> I thought putting them in there. Oh, putting no, you can. You put iron you can, in there. Okay, okay. Well, you, you can put. Yeah, this has got to be iron um, in here. Oh no, that, I mean that's fine. But you put the plates on the wrong side. The plates. If you're gonna put the plates in here, they gotta go on the left side of this machine, not the right. You put them gotcha. on the right, and they went okay. started to go down the belt with the stacks. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to freak out on you. <laughs> no, it's okay. I was like, wait, I saw going down the lane, and I was like, <laughs> no, don't. do that. <laughs> <laughs> I, was just, I was just trying to empty my inventory. That's no, it's good. I was just like, wait a minute. That doesn't look right. No, stop doing that. <laughs> I got six. Oh, yes. I might as well just. The plates can go in there, but they have to go on the left so that they get stacked before they go out on the belt. You should shift right click. Left click. Shift left click. Okay. For? To unstack them in my inventory. Oh, yeah. I, just, un them, yeah. I just unstacked the rest. So I, I okay. Okay. Like, there you go. Stacks now the stuff going to the steel is plates. No. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you're right. Yep. I didn't see it up here. <laughs> I was looking yeah, down I here. Changed it over. I was still down looking down here. Okay, you put another stack in there. Got it. Yeah. Got it. And oh, I'm actually gonna put few. this whole stack in here because there's I don't need them. Are... All right, there you go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Carry on. All right. Carry on. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. There's nothing to see here. <laughs> yeah, nothing to see here. You don't have to stay here, but or you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And not that it matters because these things are so cram packed of um, stuff that by the time, you know, now that this stuff got back down here, the belts aren't even affected. Yep. All right, so where are my gears? There they are. Why don't they implement this in vanilla? It's pretty cool. What? The stacking. You can. They've been talking oh, about you need it. an actual game. Now they're not going to do that. <laughs> they have, weren't they talking about it in a few of the devlogs? Uh, I didn't see anything uh, about it. Friday fun fact. Friday fun like facts, yeah. No, no, no. What they're doing is they're spacing out the materials on the belts. Yeah, that's what they decided to do. Make it even. Yeah, they're the items on the belts aren't going to be as close to, together as they are anymore. They're actually going to be s spread out now on the belts, so it's going to make it harder. You're not going to get a full belt of iron ore that looks, you know, all compact together and compressed. It's going to be, you know, the spacing is going to be further apart. So, oh. so it's gonna be like so it's gonna be like now what what used to be a full belt of yellow is gonna be like a half a belt of yellow when it's all said and done. Yep. Mm. Yeah, that's what they're doing. They're not doing this. They're not adding the stacking to vanilla. They're they're spacing out the materials on the belt to make it more of a pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna break everyone's yeah, it's ratios. True. It's true. That's what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna break everyone's ratios. Yeah, it's going to break everybody's ratios. Um, factories and stuff will all have to be, you know, rebuilt and redesigned for the amount of stuff that's coming into the factory versus what it is now. Yep. So pretty much... Because now you're not going to have enough stuff coming into your your blueprints and designs. Your blueprints are going to have to be, like, double the size of what they are now in order to get enough stuff, you know. Or, I'm sorry, your um, 
your materials coming into the plant are going to have to be double what they are now in order to for your blueprints and stuff to work. <clears throat> Otherwise, they're going to have to remake new blueprints and stuff. Yep. I thought I was like, no, <laughs> please tell me they're not doing that. Yep, they are. I feel like a lot of the blueprints get must be remade uh, between every update, though. Yeah. Well, but that's because they changed the recipes. That's coming too. The, a lot of the recipes and stuff are changing. Uh, yep, the next yeah. science revolution is upon us again. Yep. Nine point fifteen was a pain. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Did you play it with nine point fourteen? I don't know. Me? Yeah. No, I've had it since zero point one six. Okay. Yeah. A late bloomer. I Not have um, avoided this game like the plague. Like the plague. <laughs> um, You're regretting that now. <laughs> and I, well, I re I avoided this game like the plague, and that's mainly because um, I wasn't sure uh, what kind of game it was going to turn out to be. Like, I didn't know if it was going to be a simulator or factory builder. I had no idea about the biters. Um, at all and i like tower defense games and that was mainly the reason that i ended up getting this was because there uh, i found out that there was um the they're biters and it was like a tower defense game i was like oh i didn't know that i've got to check this out and then i went and blamed catherine for me being addicted to it <laughs> like i went to her discord and i said it's your fault i'm addicted to this fucking this stupid game and she's like, my fault. She's like, I would think you'd be thanking me. And I was like, uh, no. <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> but thanks for but thanks for thinking that. Yeah, one of my IT buddies was in the office one day playing this game at work. And I'm like looking over his shoulder. I'm like, oh, you're, you, you're not doing what you should be doing. And then I was like, Oh, what yeah. is that? I was like, oh, what is that? And it was it. It was it. It was done. I went home that day. I downloaded it. It was just, this was before Steam. <laughs> right. But, uh. Did, didn't go yeah. to sleep. Didn't but go I, to like, sleep that like, night. <laughs> no, exactly. But, yeah. I, but at the end, after about two weeks of playing, you know, I was pretty much, you know, asking. You know, I was thinking, Catherine. I was like, yeah, thank you. I was like, I didn't know about this game. I like Tower Defense. And so I've talked to her quite a few times. But, uh, so yeah, I'm a new Factorian. I don't do things the way that y'all do it, but, you know, that's to be expected. <laughs> as I say, that's, as, as that's I've been told, there's the... so many ways to play this game. Yeah, that's part of the beauty of it, though. Is that yeah. no matter how many people you ask, they'll always think... have some new variety of... I think that's what that's makes the game so great, too, this... Not one. But uh, yeah, just so you just way. so you know, if you're watching this, thank you, Catherine. I'm uh, yeah, for uh, introducing me to this game. If it hadn't been for me watching her videos, I would never pick this game up. It just looked tedious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on now, biters. Come on to your death. To your death. To your death. That's not thank nice. you. What they ever do to you? I don't care. Nothing, but I just wiped them out. <laughs> they didn't do nothing. Oh, yeah. The artifacts that used to be in the game, apparently. Are back. Yeah. It's, I'm, well, I they're, picked up they're in this. Oh. They're in here, but they don't have. They don't think they do anything. Pretty sure they don't do anything. They're just there to look nice. They're just shove them in a box to look nice. Like a chest. Got a trophy. Like yeah. a trophy chest. trophy chest. Like a trophy, yeah. Because I don't think they actually do anything. I haven't found a use for them. The only thing that has any use is the ore. Well, I'm about to go pick up. I'm about to go drop off some wood. I got almost two two thousand on me. Nice. But uh, unfortunately, guys, that's gonna wrap it up. Yeah, this has been quite a long episode. Twenty nine minutes. We're at the oh, thirty oh, minute mark. Oh, and these oh are yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite uh, over forward on this episode, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, I've been Operator <laughs> Nexus, and you guys have been wonderful. Thank you very much for joining me, and I will catch you in the next one. Next person. Thanks so much for watching. Awesome time here. Leave your thoughts, comments, suggestions in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe. All right, guys. See you later. Cheers. Peace out. Bye now.